Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're taking a look at a couple more Star Wars Power of the Force action figures. And these are a couple of the bounty hunters which appear in The Empire Strikes Back. Uh, during the scene when uh, Darth Vader hires uh, Boba Fett and these other bounty hunters to look for the Millennium Falcon, these two guys essentially appear in the background. And I know in the comic books and so forth, um, they've sort of fleshed out uh, some of the details of the background of these guys in relationship to Boba Fett. Uh, whether or not they were part of a bounty hunter guild or whatever was going on, uh, there's several different versions of, you know, the backstory for these guys. So, and uh, whether or not any of it remains canon going forward, I'm not really too sure. But I know in terms of uh, Dave Filoni and John Favreau being fans of elements from the original trilogy, uh, it's very possible that we might see some of these characters uh, show up either in The Mandalorian or The Book of Boba Fett. So probably more likely in The Book of Boba Fett just because uh, that show is very much examining the underworld involved with uh, Jabba the Hutt's empire and so forth. So uh, we'll start over here with Dengar. And uh, basically, uh, I think they did a decent job in terms of the overall uh, rendering of this figure. He's a little bulky, uh, but... Uh, in terms of the head sculpt and the detailing, I think they did a good job. And he comes with two different weapons. And in terms of this rifle, I believe this is um, maybe packed in with some of the other uh, Imperial Stormtroopers and so forth. This weapon uh, got reused quite a bit by Hasbro and various uh, action figures. And as you can see, this one comes with the foil sticker, which was common for uh, this uh, particular wave of figures. Uh, the date on this is uh, 1997. And you can see pictures of multiple characters on here. And then you can actually see a frame from that scene uh, when Darth Vader is speaking to the bounty hunters about uh, how they need to track down the Millennium Falcon. A very cool scene, one of the most memorable ones, because it basically introduces Boba Fett. So, cool figure, and uh, I'll show you a loose example of that too. So, I can show you here. Uh, you can see what the figure looks like, and I have him holding both of his weapons. And it should be noted again that... That uh, rifle um, is also packed in with uh, four LOM. So uh, again, that, that uh, particular thing got reused quite a bit. And you can see a little bit of weathering and so forth on Dengar here. And I think they did a decent job on the head sculpt as well. So I like the detail on this. I think uh, uh, of the figures of this particular era, uh, this is one of the better ones, I think. Uh, so cool looking figure. Uh, let's move on to talk about Forlom. Um, so uh, this this figure is uh, pretty interesting, uh, mainly because it's it's essentially a droid, and the body of the figure very much resembles sort of a standard uh, protocol droid, uh, much like C three PO, uh, but uh, you know sort of done in a darker tone, and he has sort of this uh, insect like head, and uh, pretty cool looking figure. And this one does not include the foil sticker. Uh, in these waves of figures, uh, basically, sometimes you'd get one with just the standard picture, and then sometimes you'd get one with the foil sticker in place. And again, you see him also in the scene, uh, along with the other bounty hunters. And again, pictures of multiple characters, and 1997 is the date on the back of this package. So, And I'll show you a loose example of uh, four alarm. And as you can see, uh, they did a decent job in terms of all the detail on this one. Uh, again, I, I like this one basically because it's a, you know, sort of a droid hunter, uh, which I think is a cool concept. Uh, much like IG-88, uh, basically you had these sort of, you know, killer assassin droids. So it's kind of sinister because they, they obviously don't have uh, an emotional side to sort of uh, reel them in. So interesting aspect of it. Uh, this this uh, thing gets explored actually a little bit. In the Mandalorian, because uh, you see this character uh, IG-11, there are certain aspects built into his programming, uh, which he has to fulfill uh, as part of his role as a bounty hunter. So that's interesting. Um, so uh, I'll be uh, pleased to see if they decide to incorporate these kinds of characters into uh, the Book of Boba Fett, uh, like they did in the Mandalorian. So cool stuff. That's all I have for you today. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more reviews of Power of the Forest action figures in the future, think about subscribing to the channel because I will be covering a lot more of this stuff in future videos. Until next time, I hope you're having a great day, and may the Force be with you. Thanks for watching.